Good morning, everybody. This is Tony with Rebel Financial here for our weekly broadcast, and I'm with Tina, and I'm with Scott from Biscotti, uh, and we're going to talk about their homegrown business, which is making Biscotti. So they're both joining us here today because you both kind of got a little bit of a different perspective on this, right? Yeah. So, uh, you know, with us here, we're sweet too, so uh, Biscotti, <laughs> which has become more sweet, right, as it's progressed. So, uh, so really, you know, what we do and, and why it's interesting is, and what you said to me just piqued my interest, because we're financial planners, all right, and you had a good plan in place, mm -hmm. and then you kind of transitioned into this, and now it's, mm -hmm. now it's a fun business. So, mm -hmm. so t let's talk about, when you want to answer to start, how did you get started on this? Um. Well, uh, I'm Italian, and um, I uh, watched my grandmother bake all the time and, and cook, and so that's always been an interest of mine, cooking and baking and trying to keep up with that, that, that Italian heritage. So but Without the recipes. Without the recipes, right, right. because, you know, being an Italian cook, she, she didn't really have that's anything written down, and um, so you had to kind of be with her to watch her and write things down, you know, and, 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 you know, it's a little bit of this and a little bit of that and whatever. The so writing was allowed, though. You could take you, notes. Huh? I could take notes, yeah, right. yes. But, um, so I, um, like I was saying before we got started here, um, we both had a plan in place to retire, and uh, we knew that was going to be, so that, when that was going to happen. So the year before that, we started, um, playing around with this and we, we first baked them for family and um, tried a few flavors and things and they really they really um, was they really were a hit and everybody loved them and they're like this these are not really typical biscotti they have a lot of flavor um, they're not as hard as, as the traditional biscotti um, and so they they we talked about some ideas and we thought maybe we'd start in the summer and doing a few farmers mm -hmm. markets. So um, that's kind of how we got started, right. just kind of by accident, baking for fun, baking for the family for Christmas or whatever, right. Right. and that's that's how it started. So, and, and we should tell people, you know, traditionally biscotti is not necessarily flavorful. It was meant for people to be able to travel. Periods, right? That's and true. And then, and then, as we know now, also you could. Uh, that's why wine was incorporated, right? To make it a little softer. Exactly, and, make it and in Italy, that's how they used to eat those. They, they were a, it, it's a, it's a dunker. It, it's a cookie that you would basically dunk in coffee or wine, and that's how it, it traditionally was. Um, and uh, they, you know, people left them out on the counter. I mean, that's basically right, right. how they were. The harder they were, the better. Right, and I, um, I don't want to discourage people from drinking wine with your biscotti, no. it's just not as necessary. We still have no. people that do that. Right? No. Well, um, mine is with tea usually. I'm tea, bit, yeah. Uh, tea, coffee. Um. But I did have yours, you know, in, in the past <laughs> I've ordered them for my wife who loved them and I love them. I'm a sweet tooth, but yes, they are yes. very good. So we're going to come over to the website later just to go over the flavors and how sure. people, how easy you all make it for people to order them okay. and how good they yeah, taste. Yeah, so, sure. Uh, in the cooking, as we talked about, all that is still done at home. Yes, I do it out of my home. I have, okay. I have a fairly large, uh, you know, modern kitchen, um, and um, I have a, a double oven, so uh, that's basically where I do everything in that kitchen. Did you get that double oven for this? Or no, did, I had, had, I had okay. that before well, I got started. Cook, yeah. Oh, yeah, I've always cooked so, a lot, yeah. Okay, so so, that's cool. so that still works for us, and, um, you know, I'm able to, to do that pretty well. I have uh, some good space, and... To work with. And okay. Are you ever cramped with time? I mean, because obviously they're not, you know. I am cramped. I'm, I'm just, you others. know, I'm the sole baker. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't really employ anyone. And um, so there's a, you know, there's a time limit. I can only bake, you know, so right. many a day. And, you know, that's kind of what I do. I mean, uh, are they twice? Because I, I thought the word biscotti somehow arrived from cooking twice. Yes. It's, part it's, of it. it's uh, so biscotti you, means a twice baked cookie. Okay. Yes. And so that's our, so Twice Scott, are cookie. you the deliverer then? Is that? Well, I am the packager. Okay. <laughs> um, she handles, as she said, she handles all the baking. And when that baking is done and we let them sit and, and dry a little bit, especially if they have glaze or whatever on them. Okay. And then we package them up individually. Uh, and, uh, and yes, sometime I'm the deliverer mm -hmm. uh, if, if we have deliveries or we do the farmer's markets together. Right. 
Well, and I know, like I said, I gave it as a gift, uh, as a side Christmas present. Yes. <coughs> Excuse me, for my wife, and it mm -hmm. will package nicely, mm -hmm. so people mm -hmm. should keep that in mind too. Mm -hmm. So, and we're again, we're going to come back to the website and Facebook. I want to oh, make it okay. easy for people when we do this. So, sure. Uh, and we'll talk about the flavors too, because I know I see like pina colada is the special one now, and so it, it's <laughs> yes. great that you can play with that. Yes. Well, let, let me. So now you have the small business, right? What, what, what have you learned about, is this your first small business or had you done oh, something yeah. like that before? Well, um, I used to be in direct product sales. So I, I used okay. to be with a company called Weekenders, which is, uh, you know, uh, I would sell, basically sell their, their women's clothing. So I would go to women's homes and do parties and uh, people would try on the clothes. And so that's kind of my first venture is doing that. Um, uh, and that, that's been many years ago, um, so I, I don't do that any longer. But um, so, so other than that, yes, this is really our, officially our first okay. business. Okay. Um, but has it been pretty straightforward, or any surprising challenges that you've had? You know that. Yeah. Well, I, I, I think the uh, one of the benefits that we're getting out of social media is being able to utilize social media. It's yeah. been, yeah. especially Facebook, it's been fantastic. Yeah. And our website as well, because people can then keep track of our flavors and so on. Um, from a challenging side, it, it's it's probably been pretty much what we thought. Um, we're keeping it pretty simple at this mm -hmm. point. Um, we're, we're at Cottage Foods, so we're not overly regulated by the state of Ohio. Right. That makes it a little bit easier. Yeah. Uh, so it hasn't been too, too challenging other than maybe keeping track of financials and so on that right. we haven't had to do in the past. Which, which everybody has to do, yes. right? Right, right. Yes. You know, I, I can't imagine because well, you're at farmer's markets and things like that, but if we didn't have websites, and to take us back 20 years ago, uh, it would really be difficult for you all to, to get the word out, right? I mean, yeah. you go to farmer's market, that we would might, be your crowd. Yeah, we well, might even have to do more markets and things like that, depending on, you know, where we wanted to be to get the word out. but it, but. it it's great now because a lot of it is through word of mouth, mm -hmm. and uh, that's what it's turned into. So, and I know you only have a few years of experience, but is there a busier time than others? I mean, I know because oh. weddings and things like that, events, yeah. conferences, and well, holidays yes. are definitely our busy, busiest time. So that'll be coming up here. Last Christmas, we uh, did exceptionally well. We okay. we uh, we did tins. Um, so the tins that we. have we had um, were, you know, for Christmas, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Um, so they had Santa on them or whatever it was. And uh, we could fit a dozen biscotti in those. And so we sold those for $15 mm -hmm. each. Um, so we had a lot of uh, people getting those. Yeah, yeah. We had uh, even, you know, realtors in town that we know yeah, yeah. ordered those for their um, clients and so forth. So Yeah, that's a great easy idea, you know. For, yeah, for besides small, just so. people wanting them for their holiday, you know, right. treat or whatever. So we had, we had a lot of orders. So, so was it a, a, a decorated uh, biscotti, you know, your name on there, tin? Or were they, were they? No, no, okay. our name was not on the tent. It okay. was plain. I, I say that because uh, we did have a sticker on the, you know, the inside of it, but we have our little B Scotty sticker. The eggnog I get is from a family farm. Uh, I'm, I'm forgetting the name. But okay. Shame on me, but they have a different jar every year. Oh. So I get at least one to remind me, you know. So gotcha. this year will be the 2019 cool, one. Cool. So anyway, <clears throat> okay, we're. Uh, and before we get into the website and stuff, where do you hope this goes? I mean, you know, I, I, obviously it'd be awesome. Is that what you want? Maybe someday you just keep going nuts well, and I somebody... Mean, I, I think we both would like it to evolve in the, you know, the point where maybe we wouldn't have to do as many markets and things. Because it, it, it is, uh, it's hard work to do yeah. a market. You know, you've got to lug all your, your tent and your mm -hmm. tables and everything there. So I think what we'd like for it to become is more, you know, here's, here's B. Scotty, and, and, and you know, we'd like to order some, or right. we're having a, a, a wedding or a family event, and we'd like to uh, get, you know, multiple B. Scotty or whatever, and I, I think that's where we want it to be. Yeah, um, yeah, like she said, maybe more uh, things that we can plan for, mm -hmm. like a like a wedding, yeah. so you can you know ahead of time you know ahead how many you need, as opposed to going to markets and you aren't sure yeah. what flavors may sell that that week mm -hmm. or how many. 
Um, and, and we also entered into a venture recently with a, with a, a small Italian market in Pataskala called okay. Mr. Meatballs Italian Foods. Um, Mr. Meatballs. Mr. Meatballs, Mr. Meatballs is Meatball. Italian yeah. foods in Pataskala, mm -hmm. yes. And they're selling our biscotti right now. So if we can get into some things like that where, again, it's more, it, it's easier to plan for mm -hmm. uh, right. ahead of time. Right, right. Those are the kind of things. You're that, reacting to orders, not trying right. to guess what people exactly. are. But I will say we do really love doing farmer's markets. We love the face-to-face, -face, mm -hmm. the conversation. Mm -hmm. Some of the conversations we've right. had with people are just... And, and the markets are great because I'm coming up with new flavors all the time. Mm -hmm. So um, it's a great test market. Mm -hmm. So I provide the samples yep. for people to try and they give us feedback. Right. You know, mm -hmm. they, they say whether they like it or whether, you know, they, they, it needs more flavor or it needs less of this or more of this. And so we H like getting had, the feedback. Have you made a mistake in a flavor or something that, that was Oh, not? yes. I've had flavors where I'll, I'll probably never bring them back out again okay. because they the just they didn't sell well or right. you know I was um, explaining earlier about my pumpkin I'm, I'm trying to get a good pumpkin flavor and I just last year didn't it wasn't to me it wasn't great right. you know so right. I'm, I'm always trying to are you getting you know, there we're going to see a pumpkin one I don't year, know <laughs> I, I'm, I'm still trying to figure that one out well you got a few weeks it's least, really right, hard so. to, to to get something like a pumpkin in a in a cookie like a biscotti, it's, right. it's just difficult. It's right. got to be the right texture, and it does so seem it's, like it's hard. Pumpkin flavor has become really the last couple of few years everything. I, well, I know Starbucks is already out with their pumpkin. Oh, I know, and it's but, basically the spices that go into it, right? right. It's not the pumpkin itself. Right. Pumpkin is just a squash. It's a vegetable, yeah. and it doesn't have much flavor on its own. Yeah. It's really just the spices that go go That's with amazing. it. So you got to get that right spice flavor. Yeah. How uh, are, do you, so you have capacity at home for a while, right? I mean, or, or do you, you're not, I mean, do you see yourself having to do something different anytime in the next couple of years, or? I think sales would drive that as opposed to us making the decision first. Because right. it's, yeah. yeah. it's, it's a large investment to go mm -hmm. to a commercial kitchen. Right. So I think it would be the chicken egg thing where maybe in this case we would have to have the sales first and really kind of and reach see, capacity yeah. at home and then make that call as right. to whether we wanted to go that way or not. But for right now, I think we're able to handle everything at home. You, you had said something earlier, I, I, one, I'm forgetting, I think it was Scott, but I don't think people realize the effort when you're setting a table up at the farmer's markets, what goes into it. We do trade shows, and I've done farmer's market mm -hmm. uh, in a prior life. For things and you know that lugging is the worst part of it. You know you don't. I don't mind. I love talking to people too and being mm -hmm. there and meeting with people yes. and talking about our product. But people don't realize that you, there's an effort into getting it there, yes. into taking it there back. Is. You know, yeah. and those little businesses that's all their livelihood. So often, so it is. Uh, it I live is. in Upper Arlington, so we'll do that every Labor Day, right? Oh. There's something. Okay. Um, well, that's so, coming up. <laughs> it, it, it must be. I mean, normally we're out of town Labor Day, but okay. we're, we're in town this week, so I'll, I'll have to even take a look at that. So. But anyway, well, we have a little time, so I would like to get to the website so we can show oh, people sure. this, okay? Sure. So let me start, and we'll come to Facebook too, but the address is uh, Uh it, Is the name, is you, you just spelled it this way to have fun, right? I mean, that's not your Scott, right? No. It's not, okay. It's uh, obviously it's. Uh, well, yeah. I mean, his name is Scott, and our our last name is Benaski with a B. So mm -hmm. we just kind of came up with a clever yeah. name for but it's the awesome. company. I mean, so it, it's it's an awesome. People love it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but my name is obviously not Italian, so right. Benaski. <laughs> I saw that. So what your website, I think, is just it's great because it's you can get easily where you want to go and it's really pretty straightforward. Uh, so you can see up here, you're, you're starting with what's coming up and they'll be in Canal Winchester mm -hmm. on the 8th. So mm -hmm. tomorrow's the first, so that's a Saturday mm -hmm. after this one. Yes. Uh, and is there always a flavor of the month then, I take it? Yes. Okay. Yes. Cool. Okay. We started doing that when? This, I think it was this, this year. year. I think. Yes. Yeah. Probably in the So it's always spring. something different. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and then simply about us, our biscottis and then how to order. So mm -hmm. we, we've covered the about us, but there's a nice picture of you all. Is that your home? Is that, that is my home, the, yes. the, the office? That's and, my and kitchen. Everything? That's my so, kitchen. But to look at the biscotti flavors, mm -hmm. uh, you just click on that and you could see 
you know, all the ones for August. I guess you'll be updating this soon, transitioning into September, soon. huh? Yes. So you just click one of those pictures, and it should bring up a. Let, let me go to my favorite. Okay. What would be my favorite one? Now you know what I, I saw the butter pecan. Okay. I haven't had that one, so let's try this one. Yeah. So yeah. now you can see it a little bit bigger, and yeah. you can scroll left and right okay. through all the yeah. flavors that way. But it gives okay. you a little bit better picture I got of things you. with the description. Chocolate chip cookies and cream. So that's great. And some of these, you know, it's been a little bit since I've ordered these. So do some of the flavor of the months then become permanent? Is that, if they're successful enough, is that, mm -hmm. you know, that's yes. just how it turns Now the pina colada, for example, that's more of a, uh, we think that's more of a summery flavor. So we'll probably retire mm -hmm. that for mm -hmm. a little while and bring, probably bring it back out next summer because it was very popular. Yeah. So. Okay. Now one of the, 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 what I was talking about is the perfecting the flavors a little bit. <laughs> uh, take the butter pecan, for example. The butter pecan is new this year. I was making butter pecan all along. Mm -hmm. However, um, I wasn't satisfied with it. Okay. it. It wasn't coming the way I, I, I like it to be. And so the, this is a new version of my butter pecan. Okay. So that's kind of what I do sometimes with some of them if they're not coming out well, whatever, not selling well enough, I'll upgrade it a little bit. Okay. So do you, you know, I have a sweet tooth and I, I, I'm really a bad judge because I, I'm so indiscriminate about anything that has any sugar in it. You know, I like it. So, and I just, it's, so it's good to have people I think that are more discriminant yes, yeah. and, and yet they have different tastes so you don't always know whether it really is good that, or not. That so. Buckeye flavor, mm -hmm. I mean, people come up and, and usually we'll sell out of this yeah. at every market. Yeah. And customers will come up and say, you have no Buckeye. Sorry, uh, we uh, just uh, sold out. Right. You know, so it's so certain people like certain flavors. Right. Um, and they'll just want that flavor. Yeah. So no. it's really funny. That's awesome. So the yeah. pina colada, we're almost done. So you got to get we're your orders done. in uh, for That's the month order. So do we know what's coming for September? Flavor of the month? Yes, it will be apple. Okay. Apple, apple spice. That's a good one for the fall. Yeah, spice. so that will be up there. <coughs> we can update that. It'll, uh, we, we normally update the website on the first of every on month. On the first. So we'll announce our new flavor of the month. Yeah. And then, as she said, we also retire, seasonally retire a couple of flavors as we add a couple yeah. of flavors. Okay. Uh, so, this is a good way to just simply place your order right here. It's nice okay. and easy. Yes. So, uh, but they're very accessible too, so you'll see a phone number. We'll be putting this up on the screen for people to see. Mm -hmm. uh, so lastly, in a couple minutes here, uh, another great way to track is, is Facebook, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, because you post periodically with the new flavors and things yeah. like that. So this yes. is a, a good way for people to uh, keep, up, keep up with them. Now, a little bit about the flavor of the month that I wanted to add. Okay. Um, usually, um, they are a dollar a piece. So the flavor of the month, you can get a dozen of that flavor of the month for ten dollars. Okay. So that's the. Special. So whenever you do that. Yeah. The, so what, flavor what, of the month what, is whatever that. that flavor of the month is, you okay. can get a dozen for ten dollars. Okay. Mm -hmm. Excellent. And we deliver in Central and Ohio we deliver for, free. for free. That's right. That's yeah. right. That's the big one. That's how you know. So we initially, Matt Scott was a chamber mm -hmm. outing, and then back yes, yes. at Christmas time, you brought those over for me. So. We also have we're excited too because we also have new packaging. Uh, we've been using a, uh, a a plastic clear flat container, and um, we decided to go to uh, handled uh, craft paper bags, okay. and uh, so that helps a little bit with the planet and, uh, <laughs> and being environmentally sound. Right, right. No, uh, so, uh, so we're excited about that because they we have two different sizes, so they're great, and people can carry them around much easier than a flat, you know, right. flat container. No, that's good. But I also like the tin ideas of the holiday. The tin, Those yeah, is a very good idea. Yeah. That would be cool. So, well, listen, thank you. Uh, this has been nice. So go to their Facebook page and to stay informed of what they're doing, you know, go there and like it. And uh, so you'll get the information that you need from them on a regular basis. So, and next week we're gonna we're gonna stick with our sweet tooth theme. Linda Kick <laughs> is coming in from our cup, our cupcakery in Dublin. So join us then. Uh, Tina, Scott, thank you and best of luck to you as you continue growing thank you this. Very much. Right. Thanks and have a great week. We'll see you next week.